this is going to be a rather short question and answer video. Because I only got three questions. Yes, that's right. Three questions. Why? Oh, I'm so disappointed. Uh... Well, this is going to be a rather short video. Um, it's probably not going to be that exciting either. So sorry if I disappointed some of you. So, yeah, sorry guys. Oh, well. Might as well make the most of it. All right, so let's get on to the questions. All right. So our first question comes from Desmond612. And he asks, Yes, it is really 3D, but unfortunately I can't show that in video form. Because for some reason, whenever you turn on the 3D, it doesn't really show the 3D effect that's going on on the screen. And he sees a bunch of lines that are on the screen, so you can't see it. Which is rather unfortunate, but, oh well. So I guess if you want to see the 3D, you're going to have to see it for yourself. So, yep, if you get a 3DS, so you can see that 3D. It really does look awesome. Yeah. Alright, our next question is from Skipper99123, who closed his account. Mm -hmm. We answered it too late. Oh. <laughs> Again, if you make a new account, let me know in the comments. All right. Anyways, um, he asks, I think the circle pad is there because and like sticks are actually kind of easier to use rather than just um, directional buttons. So yeah, I think the main reason why there's an analog stick there or a circle pad um, is mainly just because a circle pad or an analog stick is way easier to use. So yeah, I think that's really the main reason why there's a circle pad. And um, by the way, did you hear that they're making a second circle pad for the 3DS? I saw a picture of the accessory that it's not going to be like a new remake version of the 3DS like right off the bat already. It's just going to be like an attachment. But um, look up a picture of the accessory for the second circle pad. It makes the 3DS look so junky and ugly looking. Honestly, it makes it look like they're just trying to tack on too much on the teeny tiny system at once, really. I I honestly don't agree with this at all. I, there's really no point to it, really. Eh, oh well. Hmm, it's Nintendo's choice, so oh well. Um, I also got a, um, request for a blind playthrough from 321 Spongebolt, asking for a blind playthrough of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. Bad news! I've already gotten halfway through the game. So there's, unfortunately, not really a point to do a blind playthrough. It's unfortunate. I was thinking in my head to do a blind playthrough of the game. But when I got it and I managed to put it in the 3DS, there wasn't any recording equipment nearby. So I was like, eh, forget it. I'll just play it on my own without any camera work. So, yeah, but I'll be too disappointed because, like I said, I am going to make a comparison video, maybe, um, comparing the differences from the Nintendo 64 version and the 3DS version. So, yeah, keep a look out for that. I may or may not make it, so yeah. Um, and the final question. Well, this has lasted five minutes, and it's, I'm already on the last question. Anyway, Scarm7780, he asks, 
All right. Here are the games that I've already gotten, as well as the games that I'm planning to get. All right. So far, I've gotten Rayman 3D and Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D, as I just mentioned earlier. And the other games that I'm planning on getting um, are Nintendogs, Plus Cats, um, and... Um, what was the last one again? I forgot. Nintendox plus cats. I had this in my head earlier. Oh yeah. Nintendo plus cats and Super Mario Land 3D. Yes, Nintendo finally came up with a name for the Super Mario 3DS game. Alright, so yeah, that's those are the games I'm gonna be planning on getting for the 3DS. And maybe I might get Pilot Wings. Maybe. I'm kind of eh about it. I'm not sure. I'm still thinking about it, but maybe I'll get Pilot Wings 3D. I'm not sure. I'm still thinking about it. Um, and yeah, those are the games that interest me the most. And what do you know? This is already the end of the video. Mm. Most disappointing question and answer session ever. Uh, oh, well. Um, yep, that's pretty much the end of my question and answer session. And that also ends my 3DS series. Yes, it took me forever to actually get back to making this series. Um, so yep, that's pretty much it. That's the end of my 3DS series. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. My final thoughts on the 3DS it is a really cool handheld system. I really recommend you should get it. It's really awesome. 3D effects look amazing. Um, I'm really impressed with how they look in Zelda 3D because, um, you know, it's just a remake. I didn't think they would make it look that good, but when you turn it on, it's like you can just, like, look. It's like you just reach right into the screen. Honestly, it makes it, the game look that realistic. You turn on the 3D, it's like you just look right into it and just reach your hand inside. I was really impressed with the 3D effects in there. So, yep. Um, so, yeah, those are my final thoughts on the 3DS. And that's the end of my 3DS mini-series. Um, seven parts. Wow. So... Yep, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you guys next time. Yes, another series done, no one that I don't have to worry about. Yep, so yep, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. See you later, everyone.